Hi everyone, thanks for checking out our channels. Both Marty and I actually have a work partner now who's going to be doing the same line of work as me um, in Arizona, carefree. Looking forward to sharing his observatory build with you guys. Some of you already know him. You can check him out on the side of my featured channels, Carefree Observatory. So this is an infrared capture, which is exceptionally different as to the ones that I, I get. I always share them when I can. Let's talk today about structures on the moon for a change. <laughs> uh, Aristarchus Crater. This is the beautiful surface at the bottom south side of Aristarchus Crater, the Aristarchus Plateau, where you can see that beginning of the crevasse or crevice that starts to head off towards Copernicus Crater and in the center, all these lines, massive lines, right? Here's Aristarchus, different magnifications if you want, top right, further out, uh, really close on the left and even closer on the bottom right. So we'll just, uh, that little spot, in the circles, the same circle on the left here, the smaller circle where the crevice starts, as I say, that square again, where uh, Copernicus Crater is. And uh, here's the close-up of the plateau where you see that the elevation, the terrain, incredible. If you were to land a rover on that, do you believe that they're going to need paddles? Of course. So many pits and dunes or whatever they're going to be encountering, for sure, if ever they get that chance to... To land there. So we're going to talk about real geometrical shapes inside of Mare Serenitatis and the three lines that appear where Apollo 17 has declared having landed in the 70s right after 69, right? So Apollo 17, uh, where Mare Serenitatis, let's take a seriously clear look, as, as clear as we can, at the terrain. So we're going to look at depth levels. There's that rectangle that I'm talking about. The three lines are connected to it and between there and those three lines to where it's reaching Mons Argeus, that's where they said they landed. Hang on, those three lines that I showed you, that I'm going to show you, I'm also going to show you the three lit objects right now that they are connected to and that is an amazing finding. I've shown this rectangle before talked about the lines before this Bessel crater, but didn't really get a chance to get in as close as I wanted to. I'm happy to share this. I put this up on the French channel. There it is. So now you, Mare Serenitatis is turned to the left, and now we have that rectangle right before us here. Mons Argeus on the top of this image here, Bessel crater. I'll get an arrow up so you guys know where we are. We're inside Mare Serenitatis. Uh, Bessel crater is on that white line. Uh, right beside the arrow and the arrow is pointing to that rectangle or square or area where there's some depth that I'm talking about. So you can see Mare Serenitatis, uh, all these elevated objects. Eh? How could any rover uh, land and be able to get right across the mare? Absolutely impossible. There's nothing flat here that we can see on the surface. Uh, very rarely talked about again. They just never mentioned this. Mare Serenitatis here a bit further out again playing with the exposure so that you guys can see it i closed the frame up a bit got it a bit smaller there's uh watch as the light changes i love this it takes a little while it's, it's starting there it is and as the light arrives you just get that right intensity to see the levels and all the anomalies on the surface it's absolutely incredible in this one small area of mare serenitatis imagine so this is right there that rectangle but now let's try to see those three lines as well as we can there's one there's two and there's three connected to one two and three light sources my friends and there's that monolithic object in the center of the rectangle so that's an amazing finding taurus littoral bat valley that's where we were Apollo 17 uh, declared landing site. There's a close-up zoom. Get some music up with that. And another video will follow. Thanks, everyone.
Apollo 17 astronauts were said to have been there to do some experimentation on the surface, uh, brought along some devices, apparatus, tools, whatnot, dug some holes, uh, supposedly. And again, we could see those lines right there. And they're all connected to lit up spots inside of Mars, uh, sorry, inside of Mons Argeus. I showed this one a couple of days ago, just to show you again, that I show often those squares. This is a structure, 100% confirmed for me anyways. And look here, we can see it even better. Just that boundary line, the square, going around an object, a line going to something in the center, they're connections, right, of objects, apparatus, old, new, who knows? Maybe functional, maybe not functional. Again, here, I showed this one the other day, too. That square at the end. And, uh, yeah, we're going to finish off with uh, another square crater. And then I'll be making another video for you guys. Thanks so much. Maybe we'll do some uh, 4K videos. Uh, get in, again, another four-minute video of us getting in or something like that. Thanks for watching, everyone. There's that square crater. Well, I'll just stick with you guys. Video is almost done. But the lines that are going to this square crater go all around the crater. Look carefully at the bottom without even any exceptional detail. It's 1080p, right? This is not 4K. That's the difference. That's why, I don't know if you've been noticing, when I'm showing the structures and we're talking about the surface, they are 1080p videos. Then when I do a 4K video is when we do those amazing close-up shots of uh, the moon, right? So speaking of the moon, imagine being able to hold the moon in our hands. Is that what they did? Was the moon built, right? Some people say it's a spaceship. Who knows? We're going to keep exploring. Thanks for the support, everyone.